Welcome back to another edition of Myth Badger Videos. Let's take a look at making a cam and follower this time. I like the cam and follower. There's a lot of really cool things you can use this for depending on what you're trying to build. And um, there's actually a lot of variation if you use the shape of this and redesign it a bit. So if you have access to a 3D printer, redesigning and making a new shape for the cam itself, there's a lot you can do with this kind of gear. And overall, it's just kind of a fun one to mess with. So I've got my base platform here. I am going to need a piece of flat metal, and I do not want one that's as long as what I have on the platform. I actually want a shorter one here, and that's going to be to increase stability in the device. We've got our cam. I need a follower, and I'm going to have a bracket that holds the follower on the device. I'm also going to use a 4-inch drive shaft here. And for that, I'm going to need one three-hole spacer. You might ask, why only one instead of two? Well, we're going to see in just a little bit why that's um, important. I'm also going to need three locking collars for how I'm going to attach this. And I'm going to need two of my smaller bolts and cap nuts in order to attach this metal to the platform. Now, when attaching this, I am going to want four of my larger single-hole collars here. And I'm actually going to use larger three-quarter inch bolts. Um, just because of how we attach this, I'm going to need the extra length here to get everything attached properly. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this piece attached first. So I'm just going to overlap it a little bit so that that way there's some stability in the design. And then I'm going to go ahead and use these smaller bolts to attach this. And um, let's... I've had a habit in the past of sometimes dropping this in between um, the piece on our platform. So I have to be kind of careful as I'm doing this. Otherwise, it just kind of gets annoying and having to push them back out, just like I did there. So you get that back out. It probably dropped it this time just because I said something. Yeah, that's probably the reason why. It's not because I fumbled with my fingers. It's because I said something. Okay. Now that we've got that attached, let's figure out the position for this. I'm going to go ahead and thread um, the drive shaft through. And you'll notice sometimes this pops out. These metal pieces can be a little tight to fit, fit those through. And then I'm going to put a locking collar here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this back down so the whole system's a little bit flush on that end. Okay? And let's tighten that one down. Now I want to figure out where to attach this. So to do that, I'm going to flip this upside down because this is going to spin in a circle. So I want to take the piece that's the point that's farthest from the axle to help figure out my position. And we see that if I've got it here, it's going to hit that base plate. So I'm going to raise it up one hole. And this is going to be where I attach it. So let's go ahead and get the spacer here. And what ends up happening is I'm actually one hole higher than this piece, which means that when I run this through, I don't have a second piece of metal for me to attach this to. It's actually going to be too high. That's why we've only got one three-hole spacer. What that also means is I'm going to have to be very generous with my use of um, locking collar. So I'm going to actually place one locking collar on the back here and tighten that down. And then I'm going to put another one on the back side. And if I tighten this down enough, I can at least reduce that wiggle that's going to be in the axle to where it's minimal. And as you can see here, I still got a little bit and I know why. It's because I don't have this just tight enough. So I'm going to tighten a little bit more up. And I twisted. So I did not have it perfectly centered. So I'm pulling and tight there. And at least it's eliminated enough for what we're going to do. Okay, so now I want to attach this. To do that, I need to look at where this is going to sit. At its lowest point, the follower is going to sit about here which means I want to attach my bracket below the top. I don't want it right at the top. I want it a little bit below the top. So I'm going to set it about right here. So let's go ahead and I'm marking the hole with my finger because what we're going to do is we're going to attach one of the corners here. 
So let's go ahead and thread a bolt through each of the corners. And then understand when I thread those bolts through, I'm also going to be attaching these spacers to the back side here. So I'm going to attach the spacer there and another spacer here. So now that I've got that in place, let's go ahead and get that last one. I was three holes down from the top. So that's going to be where I attach this one here. And i got to get my position in the center. Okay, so that's going to be how my bracket attaches. So now I can just go ahead and attach the kept nuts to the back. Um, we'll spin one on, spin another one on. Here's my third one. And I'll tighten these down when I'm done. But right now I just want to get everything in place so I don't drop any of these bolts out. Okay, so get it tightened out as far as I can this way. And now let's go ahead and get that final little twist to tighten. You can already see, if you're looking carefully, how much um, wobble this piece is. So you can see why we didn't want to use a longer piece of flat metal to do this. Okay, now let's go ahead and try to very carefully attach this and... I realized I made one mistake. I should have put that in first. So let's go ahead and loosen this so we can slide that in. Take that out. Slide this into place. And then what we'll do is we'll put our cam back into place. Okay, so now we just tighten this down. Let's lift that up for a second and tighten this one down and there we go. Now we have this bit in place and all we need is a handle. So handle on the drive shaft and now we've got a cam and working cam and follower. Thank you for watching. Feel free to hit that subscribe button so you're notified of all our future gear videos or any other tutorials here at Myth Badger Videos.